Have you ever wondered what would happen if we dismantled all atomic bombs on Earth and sent them into space? Imagine this, a world free of nuclear threats, with all the atomic bombs disassembled and hurled into the vast expanse of space. It's an innovative take on nuclear disarmament, isn't it? But wait, before we get ahead of ourselves, let's pause and ponder. While it might seem like a simple solution to a complex problem, is it really feasible? First, we need to understand the process of dismantling an atomic bomb. Now, the process of dismantling an atomic bomb isn't as straightforward as you might think. It's not like taking apart a piece of IKEA furniture. It's a meticulous and dangerous task that requires extreme technical expertise. To start, professionals must remove the bomb's detonation system, making sure that the bomb cannot go off during the dismantling process. This is without a doubt the most crucial step, and the one that carries the highest risk. Once the detonation system has been safely removed, the next step involves extracting the nuclear material. This material, often plutonium or uranium, is incredibly radioactive and must be handled with extreme care. Specialized equipment and protective suits are mandatory to protect the workers from radiation exposure. But it's not just the immediate physical danger that makes this process so intricate. There are also significant security measures that must be in place. After all, the materials inside an atomic bomb are highly sought after by those who wish to use them for nefarious purposes. Therefore, the entire process must be conducted in a secure environment, under the watchful eye of multiple layers of security personnel. Even after the bomb has been dismantled, there's still the question of what to do with the nuclear material. It remains radioactive for thousands of years and must be stored in a way that ensures it can't contaminate the environment or fall into the wrong hands. This usually involves placing it in specially designed storage facilities, which are heavily guarded and built to withstand natural and man-made disasters. So as you can see, dismantling an atomic bomb isn't just about taking it apart. It's about doing so in a way that minimizes risk, maximizes security, and responsibly manages the dangerous materials within. It's a process that requires a level of expertise and resources that few organizations in the world possess. So, dismantling atomic bombs is a complex and risky process, but what about sending them into space? Transporting anything into space is a massive undertaking, let alone atomic bombs. The logistics of sending objects into space are complex, requiring a blend of technological prowess, financial resources, and rigorous safety measures. Let's start with the technology. Rocket science isn't just a catchphrase, it's a discipline that combines physics, engineering, and a touch of daring. Launching objects into space requires powerful rockets capable of overcoming Earth's gravity. The most potent rockets today, like the Falcon Heavy from SpaceX, can carry around 64 metric tons to low Earth orbit. But remember, we're not just talking about any cargo. We're discussing atomic bombs, potentially thousands of them, each weighing anywhere from a few hundred kilograms to over a ton. The cost is another significant factor. The price tag for sending just one kilogram into space can be tens of thousands of dollars. Multiply that by the weight of all the atomic bombs in the world and the numbers skyrocket, pun intended. This isn't a venture for the faint of heart or light of wallet. But let's say we have the technology and the budget. What about safety? Rockets are not immune to failure and when they fail, they fail spectacularly. Imagine a rocket carrying an atomic bomb suffering a catastrophic failure during launch. The potential for disaster is simply too great. Then there's the question of where to put these bombs. Space may seem infinite, but usable orbits around Earth are surprisingly crowded. Satellites, both operational and defunct, along with countless pieces of space junk, already congest these orbits. Adding atomic bombs to this mix could create a minefield that future space missions would need to navigate. Transporting atomic bombs into space is not just a question of feasibility, but also of practicality and safety. The logistics of such an operation are staggering, and the risks are immense. So, before we start loading atomic bombs onto rockets, we really need to think. Is it worth it? Sending atomic bombs into space could have unforeseen consequences on our planet's gravity and the existing space debris. Let's delve into this a bit further. First, let's talk about gravity. Gravity is a fundamental force that pulls objects toward each other. It's what keeps us grounded on Earth, and it's what keeps the Earth in its orbit around the Sun. Now if we were to send all the atomic bombs into space, we would be removing a significant mass from the Earth. While the individual mass of each bomb might not seem like much, collectively, it could have an effect. However, it's important to clarify that this effect would be incredibly small and almost imperceptible. 
The Earth's gravity is determined by its total mass, and the mass of all the atomic bombs on Earth is but a tiny fraction of that. Now, on to space debris. Space debris, also known as space junk, is a serious issue. It includes everything from defunct satellites to spent rocket stages, and even tiny flecks of paint. There are millions of pieces of space debris orbiting our planet, and they pose a significant risk to both manned and unmanned space missions. Adding atomic bombs to this mix would only exacerbate the problem. The bombs could collide with existing debris, causing explosions that would create even more debris. This could potentially trigger a chain reaction known as the Kessler syndrome, where the density of objects in low Earth orbit is high enough that collisions between objects could cause a cascade, each collision generating space debris that increases the likelihood of further collisions. To make matters worse, if a bomb were to detonate in space, whether by accident or design, it could create an electromagnetic pulse or EMP. This EMP could potentially damage or destroy electronic systems on Earth and in space. So, while it might seem like a solution, sending atomic bombs into space could create more problems than it solves. Beyond the logistical and gravitational issues, there are also environmental concerns to consider. Picture this. We've managed to dismantle all the atomic bombs on Earth. We've figured out how to transport them safely into space. But now, let's think about the impact this would have on our own planet. Firstly, the risk of nuclear fallout is a major concern. Even with the most careful planning, accidents can happen. Imagine if a rocket malfunctioned during launch and a bomb detonated unintentionally. The nuclear fallout could be devastating, impacting not just the immediate area, but potentially spreading across the globe, depending on wind patterns and weather conditions. The fallout wouldn't discriminate between cities and wildlife, between humans and animals. It would be a disaster on an unimaginable scale. But nuclear fallout isn't the only issue here, just think about the amount of fuel needed to launch these rockets into space. The carbon footprint would be astronomical, contributing significantly to climate change. We're already grappling with the effects of global warming, and this could push us further down a path we're desperately trying to reverse. And then there's the pollution caused by the rocket launches themselves. The production of rockets and the fuel they require often results in the release of harmful pollutants into the atmosphere. These pollutants can contribute to air pollution, acid rain, and even the depletion of the ozone layer. Furthermore, consider the potential for space debris. Each rocket we send up leaves behind fragments that continue to orbit the Earth. This space junk poses a risk to other spacecraft and satellites, and as it gradually falls back to Earth, it could also pose a risk to our environment. As you can see, the environmental risks are considerable and could cause catastrophic damage. The idea of dismantling atomic bombs and sending them into space may seem like a solution to the threat of nuclear warfare, but the potential environmental aftermath is a sobering reminder of the complexities involved in such a decision. So, what's the verdict on sending all of Earth's atomic bombs into space? Throughout our journey, we've uncovered that this seemingly simple question opens a Pandora's box of complexity and risks. The feasibility of dismantling atomic bombs to begin with is a Herculean task. The intricate process of safely disassembling these weapons of mass destruction requires meticulous planning and execution. Next, the logistics of launching these dismantled bombs into space present another layer of challenges. It's not just about strapping a rocket to each bomb and pressing the launch button. It requires an understanding of space trajectories, rocket science and ensuring the safety of launches. We've also explored the potential impacts on gravity and space debris. The introduction of these atomic materials into space could exacerbate the existing issue of space debris, posing risks to both manned and unmanned space missions. The effects on gravity, although negligible, are still a consideration. Then there are the environmental aftermaths. The potential for radioactive contamination during the dismantling and transport process, not to mention the environmental cost of the rocket launches themselves. While it's a fascinating thought experiment, the reality is that dismantling all atomic bombs and sending them into space is fraught with challenges and potential hazards. Perhaps the focus should instead be on nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation efforts right here on Earth.